Alright, how you doing today? My name's Nicholas Chervin, and I'm here to tell you a brief history of Minor Threat. Alright, as a little introduction, Minor Threat was an American hardcore punk band formed in 1980 in Washington, D.C. by vocalist Ian McKay and drummer Jeff Nelson. They recruited bassist Brian Baker, which was later changed to Steve Hanskin, and guitarist Lyle Pressler to form Minor Threat. This band had a strong influence in the punk DIY scene and are credited for being the first pioneers of the strict straight edge movement. So prior to forming Minor Threat, both McKay and Nelson played in the Teen Idols while attending Wilson High School in Washington, D.C. During their brief two-year stint, they gained a sizable following within the D.C. scene and were rivaled by only their contemporaries, the Bad Brains. Both McKay and Nelson were strong believers in the DIY mentality, and they formed Discord Records shortly after their graduation and the disbandment of the Teen Idols. Minor Threat formed and played their first show in 1980 alongside other scene legends such as the Bad Brains, the Untouchables, Black Market, and SOA. Soon after, they released their first two 7-inch EPs, Minor Threat and In My Eyes, in 1981. This gained them a large regional following and allowed them to tour around the Midwest and East Coast. Here's a little clip of them performing one of their songs, Minor Threat, off the Minor Threat EP. One of the songs on the band's first EP, Straight Edge, helped ignite and inspire the Straight Edge movement, which is essentially abstinence from all drugs and alcohol, an ideology which at the time in rock and punk music was not very much in vogue. The term Straight Edge comes from the point of the song, McKay stating that because he does not take any drugs or alcohol, he has an edge over people who do. A straight edge. Although the song was never meant to symbolize a set of rules, many people adopted it is as such, and an entire subculture was formed around this ideology. In 1983, Minor Threat released their second studio album, Out of Step. This did not receive as much acclaim as their first two EPs, but nonetheless was an underground hit and further influenced the straight edge movement. By this time, members of the band, specifically McKay and Drummer Nelson, had found disagreements within their ideologies, Nelson citing that McKay had to develop a sort of imperious attitude towards himself. The powerful, high-handed, straight-edge ideology this album displayed opened a wide door for it to be abused. By the following year, members of the straight-edge movement had begun swatting beers out of people's hands and forcing their ideas onto them like a gay conversion minister. Minor Threat soon broke up in 1983 due to disagreements in musical direction. McKay was skipping practices and is said to have written the lyrics to some of their songs in the studio as the other members recorded. Following the band's breakup, McKay stated that he was done with the hardcore scene, signing his own contributions and the overall violence within the scene as stupid. After Minor Threat's breakup in 1983, both McKay and Baker went on to have successful musical careers. McKay went on to form Fugazi, an early pioneer of the alternative and indie scene, and Embrace, another early pioneer within the emo scene. Baker went on to play in several bands, the most notable of which being Rites of Spring, which is widely considered to be the first emo band. And there you go, a brief history of Minor Threat, one of my personal favorite bands, and hopefully, just maybe, you go and listen to one of their songs, and you like it too. It's got a great message and wonderful energy. Have a nice day now.